Hey guys, welcome to Terrace 37 today I'm reviewing this, which is the Walmart exclusive Venomized Spider-Man Funko Pop. So really cool, really bust, pick this up. Um, this new, uh, it's part of the new Venomized Maximum Venom series they're doing for these um, kind of shows and stuff. I think it's related to the Spider-Man show uh, that's on Disney XD. But it's kind of like a crossover line. They're doing some Lego stuff. They're doing some Marvel Legends action figures. They're doing some Titans. And uh, they, they've done some roleplay stuff too. I did the review on the Iron Man helmet already and Blasters. So this is pretty cool. And we have seen like this kind of style of Funko Pop before. But we haven't seen this take on Venom Spider-Man. So I think that's kind of cool. And it's supposed to be like the suits forming around him. And it just looks really neat. Uh, we got Venom Spider-Man Walmart sticker. Nice clear picture there. And on the back we have the other characters in this wave now. I believe there are a couple more characters coming out. But this is the main one so far. And I really like the Venomized Doctor Strange, but I really don't care that much about the others. So yeah, let's open this up. Starting with the MCU Tom Holland head, they kind of started using this uh, like styled head for Spider-Man. I mean, it's a little bit different than the MCU ones, but you know, it is kind of like that blocky head they've started using. And um, you can see the nice webbing detail. I really like that, how it goes around the lines here. And I like how the white goes across the helmet and you can, or the masking, kind of see how the web cuts through. I think it looks pretty good. I think they've done a good job of making this look like the suits formed around him. He comes with a little clear base. I think we've seen this on a couple different Spider-Man figures before, but I really like it because it actually kind of makes him look like he's jumping and I mean, it's not the kind of standard person, you know, he kind of always moves around, so that's cool. You can see, again, where the suit's kind of forming, and especially on his hands there, it looks so good. And the way it cuts through, too, of, like, his utter suit, it just looks really, really cool. And you can kind of see how it's coming off there and the hand a little bit. They definitely put a lot of detail into this one. And uh, this one's just solid white with black on the arms. You can see the webs, or kind of like the... Uh, white line there looks pretty good. Then he's got his spider symbol here, which goes all the way around his suit. As you can see, his suit is completely being taken over. Then on the back here, and then on his knee, you can kind of see where it cuts back into his regular suit. And I like how they pan this white and uh, this one blue. So overall, I really like the detail on this. I feel this is a very well detailed Funko Pop. I also think, you know, a lot of people like with Venom and Spider-Man, there's been so many different versions of Spider-Man wearing a black suit, whether it be from Funko or just any company in general. It's kind of nice they see they um, they actually tried to make it a little bit different and take a different version of the symbiote with Spider-Man as opposed to giving us the exact same one we've seen a million times before. So I do really like this and I also like how they did it too with the suit forming around him. I mean that's what they did for the other characters. Um, I remember when they, when they first started the whole Venomized series with Captain America, Hulk, and Iron Man um, for the first Venom movie, which is kind of what this is released to coincide with this whole Maximum Venom thing, and unfortunately that got pushed back till next year. Um, but regardless, I think it's really cool, and I think it definitely will fit in with that collection. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe.